Hello YouTube, it's Ebony Cherie here and I just wanted to come back to you with another Atomic Bomb Ministry segment. Uh huh. And today's message uh, that I felt like God was on my part is called, sorry I had a text message, hey mama. <laughs> Gosh, bloopers, you know, this is a raw and real video so you know we edit it out and um, as pretty is as pretty does. So I was driving the other day and a thought had come to my mind um, and it was basically something that I had been dealing with before in my life and um, it was kind of like an encouragement but a, a sense of uplifting too and just a put, something to pinpoint and some truth that came to my mind is that regardless of how you look I know sometimes women we are you know we are you know we look at our beauty we look at other women as beautiful and the way we look and sometimes we want to be that person or that pretty person or that beautiful person for the person that we are with um such as a male um guy counterpart and what i feel like god was reminding me of was that just because you look a certain way or you you know you may find yourself the you know some men may find find certain women the most beautiful people in the world i mean a lot of people consider Halle berry to be really beautiful and pretty and beyonce and you know i'm just using celebrities as a reference but you know your average girl down the street could be you know just drop live gorgeous i say drop damn gorgeous um and you know but the most handsome man that you might think is handsome may not want her or may not choose her and so i think it's really an ego uh checker you know that sometimes women we get a certain you know kind of a certain way about you know the way we look at times and i think a lot of times that comes from ego and you know vanity and stuff um but in hindsight you know you could be one of the most prettiest women in the world and the man that you dearly love could reject you or not want to be with you or the man that you want to be with may not want to be with you and sometimes we really have to take a look at ourselves and internally like you know look at the things that we feel regarding that you know it could be a sense of rejection you know i've been there you know some of the guys that i you know wanted to you know maybe pursue in a deeper relationship didn't want to go that far with me and i used to question my words i used to question well i'm not pretty enough i'm not good enough you know what is it um i've since got since got past that uh, because I do believe God has things that are set just for me, just for Ebony in my personal life. And that person that, you know, he rewards you with you with who you, you know, who will fit for you. If he's called you to marriage or in a relationship to, to better someone else or to better yourself or to really walk in your purpose in life. And um, I think that God is very... He's very specific and very diligent in how he deals with us, especially as his daughters. Um, I think going through those things, like me, for instance, like wanting to be with guys that didn't necessarily want to be with me. Um, I find myself a beautiful woman, a gorgeous woman, um, but it's not necessarily my fault, you know, and I used to take that hard and God had to remind me of my beauty outside of a guy and what his thoughts were for me because he found me one of the most beautiful things in the world because I was his creation and I that should be enough for me but not to say we don't want to share our beauty with someone else you know the things on in our heart and who we really truly are outside of that because you know it's so funny that we we want to be pretty for someone but we really want that person to love us for who we really are you know on the inside so it's like that pretty only goes so far you know this fades you know but you know like when you think about older couples that have been together for 50 60 years some men just still find that lady is as beautiful as she was she was walking down the aisle and that's beautiful because it's her heart, it's her spirit, it's how she grew, it's how she was with him during tough times. It was how, you know, she forgave him through the hardships that they went through and the things that he did against her and vice versa, you know. Um, I think it really shows what beauty really is and how pretty really is just a, a, a shell, you know, the way we look. I think we do see people's spirit from the outside. I do believe in that um, through feelings, emotions, and just... Um, the, the things that you feel and you sense, I think spiritually we have these senses that God gives us so that we can be aware of that we are spirit outside of body, you know, flesh. Um, but I just want to encourage you ladies, you know, lift your heads up, be confident in who you are, stretch out your hands and say, girl, I am somebody and I'm gorgeous, I'm beautiful outside of someone wanting me or wanting to be with me. Um, because that's who you are, you know, you're, you're more than that anyway. And, you know, remember who you are as being fearfully and wonderfully made. And when you struggle with the way that you feel, um, I want to encourage you to just be uplifted because God, he sees your heart and he sees your beauty because he created you.
okay so i thank god for you guys for stopping by be sure to be on the lookout for the next video because it's coming rather shortly all right bye